Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah. If you are new here, uh, holy crap, it's been so long since I've said that. <laughs> oh man, I thought today we could uh, just talk a little bit, talk about the future of my channel, talk about life updates with me, um, all while we update my sim self and cast. I thought that would be fun. I thought about just doing a sit down video where I just sit here and like talk, but I thought it would be fun to like talk and play sims at the same time so and i do need to update my sims self so let's go ahead and do that shall we i do have a drink today i've got a cucumber lime celsi a cucumber lime celsius today i haven't had this flavor in so long probably not since like i first started drinking celsius's which was years ago um but it's actually quite tasty i've got it in my little hydro flask koozie so it doesn't get hot because it's really warm in this room uh, I have my little AC unit going as well, so I apologize for the white noise in the background. But if I don't have it on, I'll literally melt, so. <laughs> Cheers, let's get into it. All right, guys, here we are in cast. I'm a little exposed, I'm hairless, but <laughs> this is the base that I usually like to work with. If you would like to download her, uh, the creator is Dream Eater 991997 They made this base of me, and I really like how she turned out, and so this is usually the base that I just update. Uh, with like different hairs and clothes and stuff whenever I do my sim self. But anyway, yeah, she has creative, foodie, neat, and the friend of the world aspiration. So yeah, let's get started, shall we? I just kind of like took all the clothes and all the stuff off just so we have like kind of a blank slate here. Everything on my face seems to be fine still. I like to just like play around with like new CC that I get, new eyes that I get, you know, all that stuff. So yeah, oh my gosh, where do I even begin? Holy cannoli. My like YouTube has been so all over the place and ooh, these are pretty. I quite like those. I think I might change them to those. Let's see what else we got. But yeah, my YouTube presence has been so like all over the place lately. I feel like... I just, how do I, how do I explain? How do I explain where my head has been? I have not been in the best like mental state lately, mental and physical, to be honest. Like I just have no motivation um, because I feel like crap. Like I feel like crap all the time. My anxiety is really bad and that pretty much translates into me not being motivated, me being super self-conscious when I stream or film videos or whatever. And so it's just, it's really, hard to bring myself to film a video <laughs> and it sucks because I used to love it I used to look forward to it it like usually made me feel better um, but I don't know something lately has switched and um, yeah it kind of just like makes it worse a little bit and it has nothing to do with you guys I think I'm just too oh, those are stickers <laughs> I think I'm just too in my head I'm too like overly critical of myself, I'm too scared of like people not liking me and so I'm just like you know what I don't have to like deal with it, I don't have to deal with the negative comments if I just don't, if I just don't do it, you know what I mean? But it, that really sucks though because I love, I love filming videos, it's like this is the most amazing thing that has ever happened to me like hands down and I never want to stop. Um, just because of how mean my brain can be. It's just so stupid. It's really stupid, but that's just like how it is. So basically, streaming has been a little bit easier for me because I get, I get to talk to you guys live. I don't have to worry about negative comments, which really does get to me, unfortunately. And like, it's really, it's really hard to balance YouTube and Twitch at the same time. It's really freaking hard. And, you know, like streaming just was easier on my brain. And so I was like, okay, I guess I'll just like stream and then edit down streams into videos so that I'm still active on both platforms. <sighs> but a lot of you guys did not like that. You actually hated it and I've lost so many like subscribers and it kills me. Um, and that just like made my anxiety so much worse and it kind of like solidified the mean things that my brain was saying to myself, you know? Uh, oh gosh, so I don't know. I don't know. 
I never wanted to like stop doing my Let's Plays on YouTube, like Legacy and Not So Berry. I never had the intention of stopping and I never will stop. I just took like a little break to like ease myself, ease my, ease my mind. Um, just like give myself a little break, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I see it. I'm confused. I'm confused by my own actions and I know that you guys are confused and like it sucks. I'm sorry. It's such a weird space to navigate. But I just want you guys to know that, like, I will never stop uploading YouTube videos. Like, are you kidding me? No, I love this. This is this is my life, and I love you guys. So, like, yeah, I just need to. I just needed a little break, I guess. Um, so I'm going to be continuing all of my Let's Plays. Um, my plan is to upload Legacy, Not So Berry, and then edit down a Career Legacy stream and upload those three things every week. I'm not sure which days, but that's my goal. Because um, I know that you guys miss them. I miss them too. I miss my Legacy family so insanely much. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Uh, gosh, what skin detail do I want to use? Which one looks the most like me? I don't even know. This one's pretty good. This one's pretty good too. Shoot, they're all so pretty. Hmm. My favorite skin detail right now is hands down butterish. I don't know what it is about it. It's just like a very like good balance of everything that I like. I also really like is it poppy? Yeah, poppy's really nice too. It really brightens that under eye. <laughs> And the, that lip definition is really nice too. It's like automatic lip liner. But I think what we're gonna do, butterish, I think that's more me. And then these piercings, they're not right. Like I used to have, so I have two on this side, one on top of the other. And then I used to have one on this side, but my nose rejected it, so I had to take it out. But I plan on getting it re-pierced. So I think we're just gonna leave the piercings as they are right now. Oh my goodness. So I used to have some custom teeth, but I took them out because I thought that's what was like causing a bunch of problems and glitches in my game. So no more custom teeth, which sucks. Also, these freckles don't seem to be agreeing with the, what are they not agreeing with? What is on my face right now? Oh, you know what? I don't think that they're agreeing with my default skin. Okay, these seem to be better. Oh, no, 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 see? Mmm. Okay. That's not bad. That's, like, pretty much how I do my makeup. And then, like, I do, like, the blush on the bridge of the nose and stuff. Let me see if the skin detail will work with it. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Everything is good. I wear a winged liner. Every time I put makeup on, I cannot live without it. <laughs> I feel, like, weird without it. Um, but I have been wearing brown eyeliner lately, which has been fun. I think that it uh, complements the old eyeballs. Since my eyeballs are brown, it's just kind of like a whole like warm moment going on. That's a nice one. That's really nice. This comes in brown. Okay. That's nice. That's really nice, actually. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh. Okay, yeah, let's go with that. That looks real cute. And then lips. I don't know. I usually... What am I wearing today? I'm wearing matte red lipstick, but I usually just wear some kind of glossy gloss or chappy stick. I really like this lip gloss because it gives the Sims lips, like, texture instead of being flat, you know? I have been dating someone since the beginning of the year. Yeah, if you guys don't know, like Carlos and I, Carlos from my legacy, we broke up during COVID. So that was like a couple of years ago. Um, everything was fine. Like we're still friends. Everything is good there. Um, we just kind of like mutually decided to not be together anymore, but we're still friends and I'm thankful for that. Um, but yeah, I've been dating someone new since the beginning. Ooh. That's really pretty. Yeah, my natural hair is about that length right now, but like I do so much different stuff with my hair. Like some days I'll wear it short, some days I'll put extensions in, some days like I'll just like I'll throw it up. I don't know. It's just like a, a, a freaking roller coaster of hairstyles with me. <laughs> but yeah, this color is pretty accurate. This is like my natural hair color pretty much. So yeah. Uh, he lived in Colorado before he moved to California, which is where I met him. 
and uh, I just knew from the moment that I met him that I like wanted him in my life forever. You know, you, when you know, you know. <laughs> um, he wanted to move back to Colorado because he missed it, and um, I was like, "Well, shoot, I don't like want to be without you." And so we kind of decided to uh, move together. So on when was it? July seventeenth. Packed up all my crap drove 14 hours and moved into the house that I am in right now. It was such a uh, fast thing, like it all happened so quickly. And you know, we found the house on Facebook and we were kind of just like, oh, let's just trust the pictures. We're not gonna go see it in real life, let's just trust that the pictures online are accurate to how the house is in real life. And that is just not how I am. I need to see things with my own eyeballs to believe that they are the way that they are. <laughs> Cause catfishing with housing is such a thing. But anyways, I was like, well, we can't really uh, afford to go and fly to Colorado, check out the house, stay there for a little while and then fly back home and then pack up all pack up all our stuff and then drive like no 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 that is like way too much so uh yeah i kind of just like went against everything i've ever believed in and was like okay well if we get there and the house is trash i guess we'll just handle it we'll handle it when we get there <laughs> so we uh I told all my friends, I told my family, and a lot of people were like, wait, what? You're moving to call? Like, why? How? When? Blah, blah, blah. This is so, like, sudden. And I was just like, well, you know, I've been in such a rut lately. I have just been not feeling myself. I need ah. change. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I need change. I need something new. I need a fresh start. Um, because I feel so stuck right now. Like, ever since I graduated college, ah. like... I celebrated for a long time because I have known nothing since I was five years old except for going to school. I've been going to school for so long and now I don't have to go to school anymore because I graduated last May and I'm just like, what now? What now? I have this degree that I'm not using because I have been blessed with this like platform to where I don't need to use it, but I also felt like hmm. what what am i doing with my life now that i'm not in school i uh i literally don't know anything else and it was really hard for me to maintain structure without someone telling me to it's kind of like a weird thing like huh? i had school every day to discipline me and then i had nothing after that so i was like oh well shoot if i, I don't i don't have to do anything anymore i'm just gonna do what i want all the time blah 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 uh, which was not good. It was really not good. Uh -huh. Like when, like this job is amazing, but you really need to have, like, discipline with yourself. Like when you make your own schedule, you can just like blow off a day if you want, or like if you feel like crap, you just like just don't. You don't. You don't have to do anything because it's oh. ultimately up to you. <laughs> um, so that was really really hard for me to navigate. It still is. I'm still working through that. So yeah, I just felt like I was just stuck like in a hole. So, hmm, what would I wear like on a day-to-day -day basis? What do I wear on a day-to-day -day basis? I wear flared leggings most of the time because they're so dang comfortable and they're so dang cute. And then whatever shirt I want. So I guess we will start with the flared leggings, yes? So anyways, yeah, I was like, Colorado, never been but i'm down to try something new i'm down let's do it what what could hurt i have this job where i can work anywhere i can work from anywhere i might as well take advantage of it and live in some different spots because like i had never lived out of california before and i had never planned to move out of california like i'm a california girl 100 percent 100 percent and so just the fact that i was even considering it i knew i needed a change so I was like, yeah, let's do it. Let's experience this. And I need to stop thinking about everything as being so dang permanent because it's not. Like, uh -huh. I was like, if you, Sav, if you don't like it in Colorado, just move back home. You know, you have a very supportive family and they're willing to do whatever they can for you to make sure that you are happy and, and you're just a very lucky soul. So you might as well just go for it. So I did. And a lot of people didn't understand. 
because <laughs> I had like, because I was going through such a hard time, I had really like socially distanced myself from a lot of people and I was just like, just not myself, you know? I don't know. I just haven't been myself all year. This has been such a freaking weird year, you guys. Like, oh my God. Talk about change. So yeah, I said goodbye to everybody, drove here. It was me, my mom, and my boyfriend. We all drove here. Uh, he drove the U-Haul with all of my stuff in it from my apartment. My mom and I were in my car. And yeah, it took us about a day and a half. Um, I think, are these the only flared leggings that I have? I thought that I had some better, longer ones. So we get here, we get to the house, and I'm like, holy crap. We're so lucky, it's exactly like the photos. It's absolutely beautiful. It is out in the middle of nowhere though. Like we have to drive on this dirt road for 10 minutes up a mountain just to get to our house. We're 10 minutes away from the nearest town, which is super small, 30 minutes away from the nearest town that has a Target or a Walmart. Oh. Um, actually, it's like 45 minutes if you include the dirt road. <laughs> um, yeah, so, and there's no cell service at our house. So when we got there, we had no internet, no cell service. I was like, wow, this is so strange. I feel so cut off from reality. Mm. I couldn't stream, I couldn't upload videos, I couldn't do anything for the longest time. Like we had, it's, this, it's August 7th now. We got here on July like 17th and we finally got good internet. I wanna say like four days ago, five days ago or so. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's been so strange, but it's been nice to have a break. I just spent all that time. Um, oh, these are cute. These are ribbed. I spent all that time unpacking everything, getting the house Ooh. set up, getting my streaming room set up. I have my own streaming room again, which is so nice. Like, I have my vanity in here and my streaming setup. It's, it's dope. I'm so stoked. The house is awesome. But like I said, it's in the middle of nowhere, so it's a little weird. <laughs> like, there, I can't get Chipotle or Taco Bell whenever I want. There's no DoorDash. Like, I had to cancel my Dash Pass. <laughs> it's all just very strange, guys. It's all just very strange and very new. Oh my god, that's so cute. My high school self would have died over this. But, yep. So, um, I'm going to be, you know, vlogging more here. Mm. I'm going to upload a vlog of the little bit of footage that I have of the moving process. I also was vlogging um, earlier this year, like I started kind of this like wellness journey vlog um, just because I was feeling so stuck and just unhealthy and in a rut. I was like, I'm just going to start vlogging this wellness journey that I'm on to hold myself accountable and you know, like relate to anyone that's like going through the same thing that I am and like we could go on this journey together. Oh my god, look how cute this is! I love this with the leggings, actually. Aw, that's super cute. But would I wear this on an everyday basis? I would totally wear this. Absolutely. Yeah, let's go for that for every day. <laughs> and then I usually either wear Vans or Docs. So let's just throw some Docs on. I feel like that would look better with this outfit. If you guys uh, don't have any CC from this uh, juice, uh, creator they have the best shoes the best shoe CC in the game highly recommend hmm. what else is there to update you guys on I know that all of you that you know come to my streams and stuff already know about this but I thought I would update the YouTube family as well I just always assume that everyone's like following me on Twitch and following me on Instagram so they always know like what's going on with me but I know that that is so not true so I need to update you guys here on this channel as well. Aw, that's stupid cute. I love that. I really like that hair that I had, but let's test out some other things. So yeah, guys, from, from here on out, you know, YouTube videos are gonna be back to normal. Still gonna be streaming. Still gonna be vlogging. Yeah, I have all of this free time now because I have no family here. I have no friends here. Um, so, yeah, it's honestly really weird. <laughs> I feel extremely homesick and uh, sad 
because I'm totally a, like a family girl. Like, like they just went out to dinner last night for my aunt's birthday, and it felt so weird not being there. <laughs> oh, you yeah, know, but I gotta, I can't let that hold me stagnant because my hometown is such trash, you guys. It's so bad, and it's just getting worse and worse every day. And I just felt so. I felt like I was wasting away there. It feels really good to, to get out, get out of California, even if it's just for a little while. Yeah, this looks like the hair that I'm wearing today. It's so pretty. It's so oh. freaking gorgeous. Holy crap. Does it look like me? Really? Kinda. <laughs> Oh my gosh. If you guys have been playing Horse Ranch, let me know what you think about it. I have not played it yet. Like I said, I just got internet like a couple of days ago, so I've kind of just been dead to the world for for quite some time. That's pretty accurate to my oh. hair, I would say. My hair's just a little bit shorter. I do have curtain bangs. I love a good curtain bang. Oh my god. They're just like so satisfying. It's just the color. The color of these swatches does not match my hair color. That's why I like this Sonia Sims creator so much because of the the colors. Like this one is like super accurate to my natural hair color. So I always like to use her hairs for my sim self. Let's go for this like little messy bun moment for this outfit. I think it looks real cute. What is this right here? Oh, this outfit. I still would wear this too. So let's go ahead and uh, keep that fit. Okay, so formal wear. I hope that you guys have been really well though. I do miss filming videos so much. These horse ranch things. Yeah. Aw, these are actually really cute. Oh gosh, I cannot wait to dive back into my old Let's Plays. Like, especially Legacy, holy cannoli. But I've been having a lot of fun with Career Legacy as well. It's that, uh, that challenge that we've been playing on Twitch. Oh. Uh, by Rochella. She's like another Sims 4 content creator. If you guys haven't checked her out yet, you definitely should. Good content all around. Uh, but basically, the legacy challenge is like, with every generation you focus on a new career, it's like forcing me to do all the careers that I've never done. And there's also like side quests, optional side quests that you can do for every generation. It's like spice it up a little bit. And you have to like randomize how many kids you have randomize how much money you start with every generation. Um, it's a good time, it's a good time. <laughs> but I've been having a lot of fun playing that too. And also like the architecture here in Colorado has really gotten me inspired to build. There's such cool houses around me. Uh, we built my current house on Twitch. If you guys want, I can edit down that stream and uh, upload it to YouTube if you guys wanna see it. Um, but that was fun. I've just been really motivated to build lately. I'm just, you know, in that mood. And I also do want to continue doing my, like, Never Too Small videos. Those were fun, and you guys really seem to enjoy those. So we can do that. We can even do, like, venture off into other, like, architectural, uh, architectural YouTube videos, too. Um, like, I started building Emma Chamberlain's house. Uh, she did an AD video, uh, and holy crap, her house is so cute. And I was like, I need to build this in The Sims. Like, I need to. So, yeah, we started building it on Twitch. And it's been really fun. It's just like, like copying every little detail. <laughs> this is formal wear. What do, what do I want to wear for formal? I would probably wear a long dress. I would wear something like this too. It's really like silly, but I feel like it's super cute at the same time with like some fun shoes. Hmm. I'm like, how fun is this? I know some of you guys are probably gonna hate this so much, but ah, honestly, chef's kiss for me. I don't think I could ever walk around in shoes like that, but if I could, I would wear those. So yeah, that's why we're gonna do it on the sim self. <laughs> I'm thinking we should probably change the hair for this. I really like the way she like stands in this dress too, which is funny. Mm, okay, we need to find a hair that won't clip with it. With it. Okay, the ponytail is kind of a serve. Not even gonna lie. Have you guys seen the Barbie movie yet? What did you think of it? I have not seen it yet because it came out while I was here in the middle of freaking nowhere. Um, I don't even know if there's a movie theater anywhere near me if I'm being honest. I haven't checked, but I really want to see that. I really want to see Oppenheimer. I'm, I feel so out of the loop when it comes to like 
movies and stuff right now. It makes me kind of sad. I will not even lie. Ooh, that's a nice blush. Look at that. Whoa. Let's talk about... Uh, right. What's this? Oh. Little nose highlight. It's super cute. But no, my go-to blush, guys, it's by... I think this is UP, UBP Freckled Blush Number 2. I freaking use this on, like, all of my Sims. I'm not even gonna lie. It's just too good. It has a little freckles splatter, like, in the perfect... Perfect formation. <laughs> I just love it. Also, if there's anything that you guys would like to see from me, like, not Let's Play-wise... But like random video wise, like a cast video or a build video, let me know in the comments or even better, join my Discord. Um, I post announcements of all of my activity on Discord. Um, I also have a section on my Discord for video suggestions, stream suggestions, like you can talk to me about anything on there. So I will have my Discord linked in the description if you guys are interested but highly recommend highly recommend joining the discord it's a good time okay that's good for formal i think it's really adorable athletic wear why you got socks on i'm just gonna take those off for now athletic wear what would i wear to work out some little shorts spandex shorts or pants still don't even know what my color is let's just go with these cg cg green joints but yeah, Discord would be like the perfect place to suggest a video or a stream. I'm usually pretty um, open to suggestions. Mm -hmm. I got some new balances. And then let's throw some socks on and that should be good for... Ah. Uh, I'm a little bit shorter actually, mm. yeah, like that. Yep, 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 that looks good. That lo looking good, Seth, looking good. All right, sleepy time. I usually don't wear things to bed because I hate when they get all tangled up. Um, <laughs> yeah, I usually just am, am, am nakey. Like, I got a case of the nakes when I sleep. So, I don't know. I guess I'll just put something random on here. I, what else have I been up to, guys, this year? Like, I feel like we haven't had a proper catch-up in so long. Um, I usually just post up my updates on Instagram. Um, I did get LASIK in May. Oh my god, talk about life changing, y'all. I've been blind since the third grade, and being able to see without any help has been <laughs> so insane. Like, I don't even, I can't even explain it to you. It's, it's just really, really nice. Um, the, the procedure was really short. The healing process was really short. Everything was just really easy. Huh. Like, my pain levels were so low. Um, the only downside of LASIK is that it's, like, stupidly expensive. Um, it's definitely something that you want to save up for. But worth it? Yes, absolutely. It was a gift from my mom. I think it was, like, a birthday gift years ago. And I finally was like, so, how about that LASIK? Let's do it. But, yeah, I wish I would have done it sooner. Uh, and, like, our thought process behind it was, like, I'd be saving money. Buying contact and glasses for the rest of my life would probably add up to me getting LASIK right now. Be Probably be even more. So, hooray for saving money, you know? I can't believe, like, you're born hmm. blind or born with eye issues and you have to pay to see. At least in this country. It's so wild to me. Okay, party wear. Hmm. Let's do something fun for party wear, shall we? Because it's a party. Yeah, it's a party. Oh, man. Look at this oversized blazer. This is the shit right here. Oh, my God. Yes, I love that. I love that. I don't want to do it for party. Or do I want to do it for party wear? Oh, my God. And there's a pattern. Oh, I think I might want to do a pattern one for this. This is so sick. It's just one pattern, the tigers, but damn, is this not cool. Let's go for the orange. I think that's pretty dope. And then find some fun pants. Oh, there's matching shorts. <laughs> I don't think we'll do the matching shorts, but I'm blind to know I have that option. You know what's another thing that kind of like really frustrated me with like my whole channel and stuff is like, I've been making videos for so long and uh, you know, I play nothing but The Sims. And I applied it to be a game changer. 
I applied to this new like EA program that they have where you can get like early access to packs and stuff. And I have never like been accepted to anything like EA or Sims related. Like I don't really understand. But that was like another like discouraging thing for me, definitely. And I don't know if it has to do with like the oh. use of CC or not. I'm not really sure, but yeah, that was a little frustrating too. I think, I mean, a white skirt's kind of cute. I'm not even gonna lie. This is definitely fun. <laughs> hmm. What shoes? What shoes? I like this. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, the blue. It's like tying in with the dots on the coat. I'm kind of a fan of this, guys. I ain't even gonna lie. Ooh. Like, if someone presented me with this outfit, I would be like, hell yeah, I'm wearing that. Let's go. <laughs> swim, wear, swim, wear. Oh, on the hair? I think the hair looks good. Ooh, let's run some, like... Ooh, look at the makeup on this as well. That's nice. That's a nice lip gloss. My lip gloss is cool. My lip gloss is popping. I'm standing in my locker and all the boys keep stopping. You know? Yeah, let's just go for some poopies. Yeah. All right, swim. Hmm. <sighs> Almost done. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Oh, I want this in real life. That is so cute. Trill like coming in clutch with the cute designs. Realistically. Probably this one. <laughs> it's too cute. It's too freaking cute. We got, we need nails, of course. Yes. And then, did I put nails on party wear? I didn't. What am I doing with my life? Okay, cute, 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 cute. Okay. Yeah, that's another thing. Like I have been getting my nails done uh. every four, three to four weeks. Like when I was back home, and uh, yeah, I came here, pretty much tore oh. all the nails. <laughs> excuse me, that I had off, and now, like, I need to find another nail lady. And I'm really not looking forward to it. Yeah, I loved my nail lady before. She was great. She would just, like, do nails out of her apartment. She was super affordable and super sweet, and she was really, really good. So sad. Like, the minute that I find a good nail lady, I move away. Ain't that just the way? Should we do some fun buns for this fit? That's cute. Let's do that. Okay, hot weather. Hot weather, hot weather, hot weather. Let's base this outfit around a hat. I do you like wearing hats when it's hot? Keep the sun out of my very sensitive, freshly lasik eyes. <laughs> I'm just playing. But my eyes have always been very sensitive, and whenever I go outside in super very bright sun, it's like, ooh, it's pretty gnarly. Oh my god, frog hat. Mm. Oh, I kind of want to do frog hat for hot weather. That's really cute, guys. Oh, frog hat works with the buns. Let's let's go. Let's freaking go. That's so cute. I'm still drinking Celsius's and Alani's like no one's business. <sighs> my current favorites are. Juicy Peach Alani and Strawberry Guava Celsi. Actually, Retro Rainbow Alani is another one of my favorites. That is so fire. If you guys haven't tried that flavor yet, it's good. It tastes like the Cosmic Stardust Alani, but better. I didn't even know that was possible, but... Apparently it is. I don't normally wear sandals, like I said before, but I'm really liking the way that these little strappy hmm. ones look. So let's just go for that. This outfit is so silly. I love it. Wow, I really go all out for hot weather, huh? <laughs> Okay, cold weather. I'm kind of transitioning a little bit into more Maxis Match CC. I just really like the the way that people are making it these days. Like when I first started downloading CC, Maxis Match CC was like not my thing because it wasn't like the quality wasn't there. You know what I mean? Um, I, but now, holy crap! I'm like more and more um, impressed by it every day. So, yeah, I find myself definitely downloading more Maxis Match CC than Alpha CC. And I know that, like, that bums some of you guys out because a lot of y'all watch me for, like, Alpha CC content. Um, but it's just, like, another, uh, you know, transition, I guess, or things that change over time. Like, a Ooh. phase or whatever you want to call it. I hope that y'all don't mind this Maxis Match CC phase that I'm in. I kind of mix both, which is a little bit weird. <laughs> um, 
actually, I think I want the beanie to be... Let's just go with cream for now. These pants are hella cute, too. I kind of like them. I usually, like, mm. for cold weather, I usually go for, like, long coats and boots kind of vibe. But this time, let's go for, like... What, like sporty snowboarder kind of vibe kind of want to start making my own cc i want to learn okay this is cute i just wish my hmm. my midriff wasn't exposed because i know that i would be too cold <laughs> i know for a fact uh my boyfriend is a big snowboarder and i've only been once so i'm gonna attempt to learn how when winter comes around this is kind of cool Again, I'd probably be cold. I like tried to teach myself how to skateboard last summer. I learned a little bit, and so let's see how I how I go with freaking snowboarding. I love this sweater too. It has such a good texture. Man, look at this. This is this is something. This is a look. <laughs> let's go for something like this. I think this is pretty cute. Oh my god, moon boots. They don't work with these pants, but I love the moon boots. They're so cute. Oh my gosh, they match the pants perfectly. So we are all done. Here is my updated sim self. Here's my everyday formal wear. So cute. I'm gonna go try and find a dress like this online right now. <laughs> oh, here's the athletic wear, sleep, party. I love this one. Oh. So cute. Swim, hot weather, and a cold weather. Thank you guys so much for chilling with me today and listening to me ramble about my life and about my channel. Um, I hope this clears a lot of things up for you guys and I hope that you're excited for more content from me. I know I am. I love you guys so much, don't ever forget it. I will never stop loving you. I will never stop making content. And I just wanna thank you for being patient with me through these tough times. You know, everyone goes through them and uh, everyone handles it differently. And um, yeah, life's crazy, am I right? But I love y'all and I'll see you very, very soon with another video. If you would like, follow me on Instagram for like personal updates, TikTok for random ass videos, I don't even know. And uh, Twitch channel as well. I stream a couple of days a week over there. And then I will link my Discord in the description too if you want to keep updated with me over there as well. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.